help. I'm new to sales and I work for a company that doesn't pay for training or gives me little training. What do I do? I'm Scott Silverbell, coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about if you're new, what you need to know about sales training. And you know, here's what happens. This is an entire process. Learning how to sell is not an event. It's a process. And learning how to sell is not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You'd look around and you'd be like, there's a closer and there's a closer. But like the whole process would be watered down. So it doesn't work that way. So I'm going to let you know. Video number 10 here is stick with the program. And it's going to get hard. There's going to be times where you want to quit. There's going to be times where you look around and you're like, I don't know if this is for me. And I'm going to say pause. Look for reasons to stay in the game. Weak salespeople always look for reasons to, look, to, to bounce out. I ride with salespeople just about every single day. And I can tell you the trait of the guy who's the closer, who's way up here, is exceptional at what he does, is the guy who looks for reasons why he should be in the sales call. The weak closer, or the weak salesperson, not a weak closer, the weak salesperson is always looking for reasons why to bounce. Oh, I don't like the way that this guy looks. I don't like the way that this girl smells. I don't like what, like, it, it can be a wacky reason. I do a lot of training in in-home sales, and so sometimes people will pull up to the house and be like, I don't like the way the outside of this house looks. I wouldn't live there. And I'm like, dude, I'm all good in the hood. I would close this call. Or they, they would pull up and they'd say, hey, here's all the reasons why I shouldn't sell this job. And I'm going to say, take the sales advice, take the sales tip, take the sales lesson, whatever phrase you want to put around it, and look for reasons to stick in. Right? If, if you've made any headway in the sales process, if you've found capability, if you found reasons why you should have sold and you've outlasted the rest of the people who started with you in sales, look at that as a victory. Find victories everywhere that you could go. Find reasons why you should be in sales. Find reasons why you should keep training. Find reasons why you should keep finding mentors. And I believe you have the capability of doing this. You stuck with 10 videos of me telling you about how to be a new salesperson and calling you a green pea and a green horn and I'm wearing a green, hurt, a green shirt in honor of you, okay? Find reasons to stick in the game. Find reasons. And sometimes it's going to take for you to go to somebody and say, hey, look, you know what? I need a pat on my back. I've stuck with it longer. And, you know, you're probably going to get people who are like, hey, look, I'll give you a pat on the back. Looks like you need a coach or a mentor. Let me give you the sales tip or the sales advice. Right? There's nothing wrong with you going and finding a coach or finding a mentor and saying, look, I'm really struggling right now of finding reasons to stick into sales. Here's all the reasons why I think I should be in sales, and here's what I'm fighting against. Okay, It's so like the ego in your brain is going to tell you, like, look, i got to go at this all alone. I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. But I'm going to tell you, if you really want to multiply your learning and your capability and your skill set, like, tell people what's going on so they can diagnose the problem and say, here, here's what you do. So I, I'm gonna let you know, I've, I've ridden with salespeople for a long time, but full time for the last seven years. And you know, I get to the tough questions. I'll ask people straight out, because I know how to diagnose what's going on in their head. I know when they're having personal problems. I know when they're having relationship problems. I know when they're having money problems, just from the answers that they're giving me. And I just, here we go. Here's what you're having a problem with. We need to talk about it, okay? So the same thing's gonna happen with you. You're gonna have moments of doubt. You're gonna look around and be like, is this really for me? Is this really for me? Hey, if you've made some money, and it feels like you're getting it, that's normal. You, you should, sometimes in sales, you look around and you're like, I feel like I'm drowning, okay? It's meant to do that on purpose because it's meant to weed people out. It's meant to push people out of the process. It's meant to get rid of people so that they don't stay. Not everybody is meant to be a salesperson. And you know what? I, I believe that you should be for the reason that you've gone through all 10 of these videos. I believe that you should be because you're watching videos to get better. I believe that you should be in sales because you have the capability of doing it. Now, you got one thing to do from here. If you have not done this already, you should. Somewhere along the sides or on the bottom, there's a button that says subscribe. Find that button, hit subscribe, and every time that I send out new content, you'll get an update. I have something like over 1,771 videos as of today, plenty of things about sales, plenty of things about skills for you to increase, increase how to be a closer, plenty of things about why most salespeople are lazy. You do not have the competition that you think you have. Most of the people that you think are your competition, they're discounters or price matchers. They're not really salespeople. They're not, they're not, they're not. I'm just going to let you know they're not. So find that subscribe button, click on it, and every time new content comes out, you'll get an update. So I want to let you know I appreciate you dropping by and checking out my video. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.